how's practice today, Jake? Uh, I had a pretty good day, I feel like, um, with the uh, passing game. Blocking game, I still have a lot of stuff to work on, so I'd say that. I mean, other than that, I feel like it, it was a good day. When they first came to you with the idea of a switch, uh, what threw you in? Uh, honestly, I liked it. Uh, I mentioned it to Coach Lunny like two weeks left in the season. I was like, I was like, hey, uh, you want me to put my hand in the dirt? Just jokingly. And then uh, I guess they picked up on it and they wanted me to actually switch. And then after that, he's like, just think about it. And it was like two days later, and I was like, yeah, Coach, I, I want to switch. So. And, and how much did you put on the you know, weight and muscle during the, the off season to get to where you are now? Uh, so I was 220 after the season. Before the season, I was 225. And then I put on, I want to say, 20 pounds. So now I'm 245. You're actually catching the ball better as a tight end than you were a receiver? Uh, yeah, I'd say I'm actually catching the ball better. Uh, I've been working super hard over the spring and in the summer, and I've just been, been putting in a lot of work, so I feel like I've been doing good at the receiving game. What's been the difference? Because I think I'd be on a tougher position as far as uh, I'd say mindset. Uh, I just came in this fall camp and in the spring. I just came in with a different mindset, and I knew it was going to be hard because it was a whole different position change. And I just wanted to keep my mind level and not get frustrated within myself and just attack every day. Is that a different mindset because you're going to your senior season? Yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say that. And um, I really don't have anything to lose, man. I have a little kid on the way, and I'm, I'm excited about that. And I really, want to, I really want this season to set the tone for my future. They didn't have a lot of tight ends down at SMU and didn't do a lot of stuff at the tight ends. But, uh, you know, got the, got the ball to them last year, and you feel like with the, the amount of talent you'll have in that room, you get a chance to get a lot of balls this year. Uh, yeah, I feel like we utilize our tight ends a lot in the passing game, so I feel like uh, there'll be a bunch of chances for me to uh, step up within the, in the depth chart. How difficult has it been blocking as far as having to block from that position? Um, I'd say, like, once again, I'd go back to mindset. Like, you got to want to block. If you don't want to block, then it's going to be a little harder, but – I'm, I'm more of a physical guy, so I like blocking. Uh, it has been challenging, and I do got to work on my technique within blocking, but I'd say it's, it's getting easier each and every day. Uh, yes, they have. They've been in that room for about five years. Grayson, I think, three years. Um, and they've been, like, they've been telling me what to do on a couple plays, and they've been helping me out and, and being a good teammate. Catch a good touchdown pass there. What was that like? Uh, it was good. Uh, my goal in there, my goal going in was just to have a good day, and I wanted to catch a touchdown, and I actually did. So, I mean, I just, you know, try to focus on that. Obviously, you were graduate transfer, but you had two years, which is, you know, a little bit unusual. But talk about being able to have that second year and kind of getting your feet wet here last year. How much that maybe helped you this year? Uh, I'd say that helped me a lot. So coming in my first year, I was like an outsider, and I didn't really know any of the guys, and it was kind of like awkward. But then with more time being uh, within the team, I feel like they've kind of like accepted me. And now I can, call them, I can call them my brothers. And we've been working and grinding together. And I really enjoy that. So. What do you feel that you bring to the room that's a little bit different? Uh, I'd, say, I'd say I bring I'd say leadership by, by like example. Like I, I always try to do everything right. I try not to miss any meetings. I don't miss any meetings. <laughs> I don't miss anything. Uh, workouts, anything. So I try to do everything right so other people could watch me and try to build off that and be like, yeah, I see him doing it. So I want to do that too. So. What are the differences between Coach Lenny and Coach Depp in their methodology? Um, I'd, say, uh, I'd say Coach Mo Lenny's more laid back, which isn't bad. You know, co every coach coach is different. And uh, I'd say Coach Depp, Coach Depp is a, is a technician guy, which Coach Lenny is too, but Coach, uh, Coach Lenny just seems a little more laid back, and he's really funny. He cracks jokes and stuff, so that's pretty good. The offense won the belt today, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, red zone. We got in the red zone. We uh, dominated the red zone, and Coach Morris said that that's our belt. So, I mean. Who all scored? Uh, I'd say I scored one in the red zone. I don't know who else. I really didn't pay attention. but <laughs> You got another one, huh? So yes, sir. Many, what's your touchdown count? Yeah. I was just two. It's just been two so far. So. How's CJ been doing? Uh, he's been doing good. Uh, I, I really notice him in the meetings. He's interacting with Coach Lunny and stuff. And, uh, I mean, I feel like he's had a good camp, and he just needs to keep at it. What are those touchdowns have been? Have you kind of been using uh, you as, like, a red zone threat a little bit? Uh, I wouldn't say they single me out. I feel like we just have our regular passing game, and then we'll, they'll just keep me sometimes. I mean. uh, somebody said you, they, they called out Jimmy Graham when they were talking about you the other day. 
hear that? Uh, no, I didn't hear it, but I feel like Coach Mark said that because Coach Mark says that every time. <laughs> Coach Mark, one of our strength coaches, he's always like, what's up, Jimmy? Every day we go in the weight room. So so you totally embrace moving to tight end? Or yeah, like I love it. Your, your call, or how did it come about? Uh, I don't know. Coming out of high school, I was always uh, – I only had like three offers. And Texas, Texas said they wanted to move me to tight end, but I was like, nah, I'm not worried about that. And uh, I've always been kind of like a fast guy. Uh, I'd say my, my speed – at receiver was kind of average, but then once they moved me to tight end, my speed kind of went up. So I'd say, yeah, I say I've been embracing that, and I love the role. So.